Hallelujah. Margaret, God bless you. You are online. Mama Olabode, God bless you. You are online. bless you, Izu. God bless you. Hallelujah. It promises to be another wonderful time this night by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is true, we can never be tired of God's presence. Only in His presence we have assurance. Only in his presence we have courage. Only in the presence of God we have hope for a better tomorrow. I'm waiting for as many people who are going to join us this night for another time with God. And for the next few days, every night, we're going to be coming together to pray from around the world. As you come in, just let me know where you have been from. And God bless you. Akin Jide, God bless you. Marvel, God bless you. Margaret, you are welcome. Tonight is the night of mercy. And as many who are going to come online, you shall be exempted by the mercy of God. I brought the message of mercy tonight. Mercy, mercy. And my father has promised that his mercy will be more than enough, more than sufficient for his children during this time. Don't forget, in our ministry, the Lord said to us, He said to me specifically, begin to tell the people to allay fear from their hearts because fear has torment. So we came online sharing the message of fear not. And it is still part of that message tonight. Fear not. The Lord Almighty is with us. He is the Lord of hosts. His grace is more than enough upon our lives. Tonight we, is the night of prayer. Tonight we are going to be praying and interceding wherever you are. Just condition it in your mind that you are in a physical gathering. Wherever you are, let the fire of God, let, let there be expo, explosion and ex, an expansion of the power of God wherever you are. The power of God is going to erupt here tonight. That same power of God will touch you in your home. Wherever you are being from, the same power. The same power as of old, it has not changed. It is the same yesterday and today and forever. His name is Jesus of Nazareth, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is mighty to save. Even to the ultimates. Invite your friends. Let them come on board. It promises to be another night of power. Tonight, as many who are going to see this video, the mercy of God is going to catch up with you. No matter the situation. No matter the circumstances. Because even in the face of judgment, mercy will still speak for you. The mercy of God will speak for you. It does not matter. That is what the Lord has promised me. The sons and daughters of GKC and whoever is going to see this video, the mercy of God is going to, is going to extend towards you. It's going to extend towards your family. The mercy of God will speak on your behalf in the name of Jesus. So instead of judgment, instead of judgment, the mercy of God is coming your way. I'm praying and I'm blessing every man, every woman, from wherever you are watching from. 
the mercy of God is speaking for you. Let's begin to speak. Let's begin to let's let's tune into the spirit now. We are not here to play. We are not here just to come online. We are here meaning a business. It's a spiritual business. And I'm going to begin to share with you very shortly some very deep things that you and I need to know. Because you see, ignorance is what is killing man. He says, my people are perish. My people perish for lack of knowledge. The knowledge of the word of God. The knowledge of how the word of God works. Ignorance of the fact that man does not know that they are spirit being. This is one of the truths I'm bringing your way tonight. To let you know that as a spirit being, you have the inner built power to resist every form of evil. Not coronavirus alone, not COVID-19 alone. You have an inner built power. We call it the supernatural power of God. You can resist evil. You can say no to every demonic and satanic suggestions offered by understanding. And that is the understanding I'm bringing your way tonight. Begin to invite your friends. Let's continue to invite everybody. Let them come online. Something powerful is about to happen because we're going to pray. I, I want you to begin to speak in tongues. And begin to ask God to give unto you the spirit of supplication tonight. The spirit of supplication. Begin to connect in the spirit. Lord, I need the spirit of supplication tonight. I want to pray and I want to pray true. I don't want to pray vain prayers. I don't want to pray like the Pharisees and the Sadducees. I want to pray a spiritual prayer that is going to command my heaven to open, to answer unto me. Spiritual power. That is going to ward away demonic attack. I want you to begin to tune yourself into the frequency of the Holy Ghost. Because God is with us. He, is, he says to us, is the present help in time of need, in time of trouble. If there is any time people need God, the world needs God, it is now. Begin to connect yourself. Invite your friends. Tell them. GKC, Maximum Impact, KIN, Kingdom Impact Network is on. And that Jesus wants to meet everyone. He wants to visit your home tonight. He wants to share deep things with you as we open the pages of the Bible and we read together. I'm sure you know you are not alone. You are not alone. There is a God who promised us. He says, Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. Tell your friends, tell your relatives, let us gather around. In your home tonight, there is going to be the eruption of God's power. Because the same anointing here is going to, is going to move through the waves and is going to rest in your house. As many who need deliverance tonight, I'm telling you, wherever you are, you will experience the power of God. Somebody called me yesterday and the person was sharing with me, Pastor, I need deliverance. I said, but now that... The, uh, now that we don't meet physically, how are we going to help you? But if that, that kind of person is online tonight, as I pray from here, as we join our hands together in prayer, the power of God is going to touch that person. The, uh, just as the same power of God is going to touch you in the name of Jesus. Just for seeing my image on this on your screen means that the power of God is already present with you. Because we are spirit, we are spirit. We are spirit. We are spiritual personalities. The unfortunate thing is that a lot of people have not taken our time. They've not invested in their spirit man. Listen to me, brethren. I'm not a marketer. I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a medical doctor. But I'm the preacher of the word of God. And that word of God carries power. The power that humanity needs is resident in the word of God. And you and I, as children of God, we are the custodian of that power. So as you connect, as you tune with me, the power of God is going to touch you. The power of God is going to do the, the unimaginable in your life, in your family. The power of God is going to move you from where you are. A lot of people are now at, in the valley. 
they are in the valley. But they need the power of God to move them away from the valley, right to the mountain top. And as I speak from here, that is exactly what you're going to experience in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to tune in the spirit. I want to connect in the spirit. Because you know what? In the spirit realm, distance can never be a barrier. Distance will never be a barrier. Wherever you are being from. Are you depressed? By the time we are through with this program, you will understand what I'm talking about. Depression will live your life. Confusion will live your life. Uncertainty will live your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the devil is cooking, whatever the devil is planning, his plans around the world, we are here to frustrate the plans of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus. To stop evil tide and to say to the devil, no, don't forget tonight is the night of mercy. Exempted by mercy. I want you to say to yourself, I'm exempted by the mercy of God. The mercy of God will speak for me. The mercy of God will speak for my family. The mercy of God will speak in my job, in my career. In this world of uncertainty, where it seems everything is crashing. Oh, everybody is melting. Economy is melting. Nations are in turmoil. And everything seems uncertain. It is the mercy of God that will exempt you. I'm going to share with you shortly the mysteries of God's mercy. The mystery of the mercy of God. It is not, it, it, it's not going to be by power. It's not going to be by might. It's going to be by the Spirit of God. And inside of the Spirit of God is the mercy of God. So if you're able to connect with the Spirit of God, you are able to connect with God's mercy. The mercy of God. The mercy of God that will stop judgment on your behalf. The mercy of God that will single you out among the multitude. The mercy of God that will say, no, don't kill him. Plague, don't come near him. That is the mercy I'm bringing your way tonight. The mercy of God will speak louder than before in your life and in your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Mercy is what you need. Mercy is what I need. And that is why we are going to call the God of mercy. That you and your family, you are going to be exempted. It doesn't matter what is happening in the world. You shall be exempted. Mercy will speak for you. Mercy will speak for you. Mercy is going to single you out in the name of Jesus. Continue to invite your friends. Continue to tell them, let us come on board. It's going to be fire against the devil. But it's going to be a lot of blessings upon you. It's going to bring refreshing to you. It's going to bring abundance to you. It's going to bring peace. The mercy of God has a message. It ministers peace. Uh -huh. you, might, you might have been marked to go down. I'm telling you, whoever sees this video, plague around the world will never touch you. That is what my God can do. Because you see, we do not preach message that is empty. We do not preach the word of God that does not have power. Yeah, we preach the message of God that is powerful is it has the power to save even unto the uttermost. And that is exactly what we are going to do. The mercy of God will single you out. Continue to invite friends. Continue to share. Just continue to share. It doesn't matter where your family may be. If they are in Africa and they are connected at this time, mercy of God will touch them. A lot of people are saying, what of if this, this pandemic reaches Africa, what are we going to do? But I'm telling you, the mercy of God is what we need. Even when technology will fail, it is still the mercy of God that we speak. When men can do nothing, when they practically can do nothing, it is the mercy of God that we need. I'm going to tell you the mystery of the Spirit. And I'm going to tell you the workability of God's mercy. Everyone in our ministry knows how often I talk about spirit, about the fact that you are a spirit being. Just the same way you take care of your clothes, the same way you take care of your physical body, the same way I wanted to take care of your spirit, man. You cannot be held spiritually and a, a, a plague will touch you. Because plague, coronavirus, COVID-19 is a demon, is a spirit. Forget about the name they must have called it. And it has a name though, 
the name. They gave it a name. But you know what? We have a name that is above every other name. Glory to God. It is the name of Jesus Christ. And as we mentioned the name of Jesus Christ, oppression will crumble around you. Affliction will crumble around you. Satanic plague, an arrow of death that the devil has released upon the, my God. Brethren, I tell you, the plague upon the planet Earth is like evil arrows that is flying, engulfing the whole world, and the world is 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 is, is helpless. I was reading, and I want to share with you. Do you know the reason why the government is saying stay at home? It is just in the bid for us to reduce the spread. But that is not what we need at this time. Although it is good. But what we need is for us to be alive in our spirit man. It doesn't matter. You may contact somebody that has it. If you are a spirit man and you are alive in the spirit realm. Brethren, evil will not come near you. That is a word of assurance I want to pump into your spirit man. And that is why at this time you must, act, you must know who you are in Christ. It is not a time you are playing church or you are playing religion. You must know who you are. You must know that you are a spirit being. You must know that you have the capacity to revolve, to, to, to send back every evil that is programmed against you. Don't forget, coronavirus is death because the end is death. The end of it is death. The thief comes not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I tell you, the devil has invaded the world with his demon to steal the health of people, to steal their peace, to steal their movement, to steal their freedom. You have money, but you are restricted into your house. You have your car, but you can't drive. <laughs> you see, that is, the, that is the weapon of the devil. But I'm speaking from here. Every form of evil that is programmed, that is planned. Ma'aku shalatalia, eligengo dono u shepiriada, lekute seriadu la hashanda, elkiti, no duba la bela hati, naku shantaliaga. Let every program evil, let it go away from you in the name of Jesus. You can't watch this video and you'll be a victim of evil. Because I speak from the bowel of the Father. I'm speaking as a smart piece and I'm declaring exemption upon you in the midst of plagues, in the midst of calamity, in the midst of death, in the midst of uh, 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 epidemics, in the midst of pestilence and disease, you are going to be exempted. I'm saying it confidently because I know who we are in Christ. The world may not have solution, but we have the solution. And the solution is in Jesus. The solution is in his name. He said the name of Jesus Christ is powerful. The solution is in the word of God. The word of God that travels. Hear what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4. Bekala dozula. Mantasile galadu shenderia. Hebrews chapter 4. Hear what the word of God says. I'm reading from verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4. And from verse 12, it says, For the word of God is quick. The word of God is powerful. And the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. I, I, I want you to see the rema in the word of God tonight. And as I'm speaking, that rema is going to jump into your spirit, man. It's going to send depression packing. It's going to send fear packing. It's going to send, uh, 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 you know, uh, hopelessness packing. It's going to send confusion packing because the word of God has a force. The Bible says, for the word of God is quick. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God has the power to pierce even the dividing asunder of the spirit. The soul and the spirit. It pierces the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit. That is where I'm going. The word of God can travel into your soul and into your spirit. If you have the word of God in your spirit and in your soul, coronavirus can never stay there. Pandemics, evil pestilences around the world cannot stay with you. So if the word of God can pierce into your spirit, man, if the word of God can stay in your spirit, man, tell me, 
because the word of God is light. It works away evil. As I'm speaking to you, let fear, let fear be sent packing. Let fear go very far away from you in the name of Jesus Christ. So see what Bible says? It says, and the word of God has the ability to travel and to divide asunder the soul and the spirit and of the joint and the marrow and that is a designer. He is a designer of the thought and the intent of the heart. Can you see the part that is locked up in the word of God? That is what I brought your way tonight. When the word of God locates your spirit man, when the word of God finds a place in your soul and in your spirit, tell me, there is no how sickness can stay in your life. Now listen to this. I'm telling you some of the things, some of the information I've gathered around the world. Now they said those who are most vulnerable during this time of this uh, 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 epidemics or pandemic, they are the people who already are sick in their bodies, whose immune systems may be very low. They are the easily preyed upon. And I tell you what, what they are really suffering from before, they are all demonic activities. Now what is happening is that a higher demon is coming. That is going to suppress every one of them and round up the assignment in the life of that person quickly. Ah, God forbid that in your life in Jesus' name. God forbid that in your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic powers on assignment that is sent to round up the assignment of the devil. And I want to send a lot of people into hell in large number, in their thousands. My God, you can imagine what is happening in hell now. Hell is rejoicing because the children of men are, they are being poured into hell. But I speak over your life in the name of Jesus. Hell we cry over you. Death we mourn over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm speaking as a mouthpiece of God and I'm declaring over your life. Listen brethren, I'm not a prophet, but I'm a child of the most high. When I speak the word of God, my father honors it. Just the same way I'm speaking now. If there is any form of sickness in your body and you are with me, the mercy of God will exempt you. I want you to begin to type it and I want you to begin to confess it. I'm exempted by God's mercy. The mercy of God exempt me. In, the, in this time of calamity, in this time of plague, the mercy of the Most High God, the mercy of God that rules in the affairs of man, His mercy will single me out. In the name of Jesus, let the mercy of God single you out. Let the mercy of God bail you out. Let the mercy of God call your name. Let the mercy of God mention your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, the mercy of God is what you need. When the mercy of God visits you, the mercy of God will shut the door against plague. You will say, no, 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 don't touch him. Don't touch him. That is what the mercy of God says. Now, I want to show you two classic cases in the Bible. Where God Almighty himself is the determinant, ultimate determinant of who lives and who dies. Who is favored and who is not favored. Go with me to the book of Romans. The book of Romans chapter 9. The book of Romans chapter 9. The mercy of God. Just type it and begin to speak it. The mercy of God will single out my children. The mercy of God will single out my family. The mercy of God will single out my husband. My wife and my household will be saved in the name of Jesus. Brethren, when the mercy of God visits you, it doesn't matter who is dying in the city. The mercy of God visited the harlot called Rahab. In the time of destruction, the mercy of God singled her out. When in the palace there was death, when on the street there was death, the mercy of God singled out this woman. And it is the same mercy of God I'm bringing your way. The mercy of God, let it, let it exempt you from plague and from disaster in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are being from, distance is not a barrier. The word of God is coming your way. Hear what the Bible says concerning the mystery of mercy. Each time I read this account, I'm always shocked and I'm afraid of God. Each time I read this account, it makes me to know that indeed God is God. 
He overrules everything. It doesn't matter human sentiments towards you. It doesn't matter who hates you and don't want you to live. When the mercy of God is with you, they go down while you live. That is the mercy that I'm talking about. The mercy of God, even companies are closing down. The mercy of God will still open doors unto you. Because the, 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 rod, the rod of the wicked is not permitted to rest on the lot of the righteous. That is what the Bible says. So we go back to that book of Romans. Hear what the Bible says here. I'm reading from Romans chapter 9. Let me read from verse 1 in order for you to know. Please follow me wherever you are. Make sure you are reading. Big pick your Bible. And we are on together because you see, it, the Bible says in that Hebrew chapter 4, it says the word of God is quick. What I want to achieve by this evening broadcast is that the word of God will travel into your soul, into your spirit, man. If that happens, brethren, there is no power of the devil that can touch you. I was reading today, they said, coronavirus can stay on a metal for 12 hours. It can stay on people's cloth for 9 hours. It can stay on the, on, on the surface of something for 10 hours. And I say so, so, oh my God. It does not matter the name they call it. It is still under the command of God because the name of Jesus is a decree in the spirit realm as a matter of fact now I wear you with the name of Jesus Christ I put upon you now the majesty of Jesus you wear it in your spirit man you wear it in your soul you wear it in your body hear what the Bible says here from verse 1 I say the truth in Christ I lie not my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelite, to whom pertained the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, whose are the father whose are the fathers and of whom are, of whom has concerned the flesh christ came which also over all god blessed forever and ever not as though the word of god had taken none effect for they are not only israel which are of israel they are not israel that are the Israelite, physical Israelite now, that's what he's talking. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Now verse 8, are you with me? Make sure you are with your Bible. We are reading together. The power of God is traveling from here, and the power of God is touching you wherever you are being from, in the name of Jesus. And verse 8 says, that is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Verse 9 says, For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived, when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand. That is what I'm talking about. The purpose of God according to election. I told him initially, I said, God is the one who decides who stays, who lives, and who goes. He's the ultimate decider. A man may be marked for death. But when the mercy of God touch him, the mercy of God will speak concerning him. No, don't touch him. Let him live. I speak for you. You will live. You will not die in the name of Jesus. This plague will not catch up with you in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter wherever you find yourself. Anywhere you find yourself, this mercy of God is going to touch you 
in the name of Jesus. Somebody is saying, if the plague comes to Africa, all Africa is going to be sw swept away. I said, no, it will not happen because that is the plan of the devil. Although it started from China, but it will not engulf the whole world. The mercy of God is what we need. So individually, when you assess the mercy of God, you are settled. Now hear what the Bible says in that 11 again. Romans 9 verse 11. For the children be not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that call it. I love that. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That is actually, you can travel with me to the book of Malachi. You see it there, Malachi chapter Malachi chapter 1. That is exactly what Apostle Paul was quoting. Malachi chapter 1. Are you still with me? When you read the Bible and you understand the mysteries from the word of God, that is where your power is. So Malachi chapter 1 verse 2 says, I have loved you, see the Lord. Yet you say, wherein a thou lovers was not Esau, Jacob's brother, saith the Lord. Yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. Don't question me and don't say, oh, it, it seems God is unfair. When we go back to the book of Romans, you will understand what we are talking about. So you see, Apostle Paul was getting his facts from the Old Testament, from the law that God said he is the one who loved Esau and he hated Jacob. So back to Romans now, chapter 9. Now we are reading verse 13. As it is written, that Malachi chapter 2, verse 2 and 3, okay? As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Somebody will ask, so, but what is it that Esau has done? I don't know, and I don't want to know. That is only with God, the Almighty, the All-Knowing, the great I am that I am. The God that is too deep, no man can know his death. The God that is too wide, nobody can comprehend his understanding. So if God says, I love Jacob, I hate Esau, you just stop there. You don't bother your brain on what he did. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't bother your brain on that. But what I'm particular about in your own life is that the mercy of God will single your family out. The mercy of God will single your husband out. It does not matter the evil generational spell upon your family. And demon spirit and the spirit realm, they are rejoicing. And they are saying, this is the time for them to have a soul. Your soul is not going to be among them in Jesus' name. Going forward in verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And now we have compassion on whom are we have compassion? Have you heard that? Have you seen that? So what are you? What are you supposed to do? You and I, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to call for the mercy of God. Because I know even in judgment, this is one of the things the Lord has taught, taught me. The Lord said to me, every day of your life, don't ever allow the prayer of mercy to depart from your lips. I'm going to share with you tomorrow at the lunch hour that even rapture, it is the mercy of God that will qualify you, not your righteousness. It is the mercy of God that will single you out, that will qualify you. I pray for you. Let the mercy of God begin to ring in your life. Let the mercy of God begin to speak over you. Let the mercy of God begin to speak over your family. Let the mercy of God begin to speak over your job. Let the mercy of God begin to speak in your career. The mercy of God in your family. The mercy of God concerning you in the name of Jesus. You have seen it here. God says, so then, it is not of him that will it. It is not of him that run it. In other words, it is not all about human expertise. 
It is not about human knowledge. It's not about who is the strongest economy in the world. No, when evil comes, man needs the mercy of God because he's the one that rules in the affairs of man. The Bible calls him the president among the nations. Now, look at this, verse 17. For the scripture had said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore had he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will harden, he harden it. So whoever is meant to go down with coronavirus, Except the mercy of God speak for that person, the person will go down. That is what I said. Every death sentence that has been issued concerning you, that has been issued concerning your family, every demonic death sentence, it will not answer over you in the name of Jesus. I wipe it away with the blood of Jesus over you in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is sentenced in the spirit realm must die physically. Whosoever is sentenced in the spirit realm must die the death. In the natural. But listen to me. It will take your spirit man to accept the death verdict first. Then your body will not accept the verdict physically. But if your spirit man will not accept it. Just as I'm telling you now. You let holy anger come upon you. And begin to speak in tongues. Begin to say in the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse evil sentence. I refuse demonic sentence. I refuse the sentence of COVID-19. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to be part of destruction. I'm not going to be part of those who will go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. I wanted to begin to say it over your family. My family is exempted. By the mercy of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm kept by the mercy of God. The mercy of God. The same mercy that single out Jacob. Jacob a supplanter. Jacob a non-entity. Jacob eventually became a nation. The same mercy of God is what? I'm believing over your life in the name of Jesus. Let the mercy of God single out your family. Let the mercy of God speak over your steps in the name of Jesus. That is where there is plague, you will not go there. Even if you get there, the blood of Jesus cleanses you away. The blood of Jesus hides you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. I'm speaking over your life in the name of Jesus. That the power of the Holy Ghost will come over you. Some people who are ignorant people, who are dead spiritually, they are telling us that prayer is not the answer now during COVID-19. 19. 19. They say instead of people, instead of some people to be looking for medical solution, they are praying. Those people are fools. They lack spiritual understanding. They are dead, actually. Those who think that prayer is not the solution. Anytime human being comes to their wit end, anytime human being does not know what to do again, they look up to God. The great king in the Bible, David, he was a, he was a king, the, a great king by, 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 at that. He says, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. He says, from whence cometh my help. He recognized the fact that there is a God in heaven. A God who can say yes and no demon can say no. A God who will say go down and nobody can say come up. A God who the Bible says promotion comes not from the north, from the east or west. He said God is the judge of all. He's the one that decides who stays and the one who, 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 who goes. So you see, people are saying, no, 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 why, why are some people praying instead of them to begin to look for a solution? Prayer is the solution. As a matter of fact, not until man call upon God, there will never be any breakthrough. And that is what I'm telling you because you see, the nations of the world, they are arrogant and they are proud. They've gone far away from God. They've left the commandments of God. They've gone their own way in self-rebellion, in association with fallen angels. They've teamed up against God to disobey God, to, 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 to continue in disobedience. And God says, my judgment is going to catch up with them. And that is why you must ask for exemption. It, we ask for exemption through prayer and through the revelation of the word of God. No, 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 no. You may be, you may be, you may be marked for death, but the judge, the mercy of God will just single you out. 
So in time of crisis, in times when people do not know what to do, what wood are they supposed to turn to? God is our creator. God is our father. God, the Bible says, in him we have life. The very life in your, in your nursery, God gave it to you. So if that God is still in heaven and he reigns in all the affairs of man, do you think if we call him, he will not answer us? He said, call upon me in the days of trouble and I will answer you. To show you the importance of prayer. God said, it is when you call upon me that I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. And that great and mighty things you are not aware of is the mercy of God that I want to speak. I want that mercy to speak on your behalf. Uh, we're going to go into prayer shortly. It's going to be violent prayer. We are going to shut the door against every power that is wasting destinies. Every demon or the arrow of destruction that the devil has sent upon the surface of the earth. We are going to say no in agreement of faith. And as we pray, I'm telling you, something is going to happen. As many of you, you see this video, you are better share it. Don't flip it. You are better stay. This is the time of your mercy. Because the mercy of God is going to touch you. The mercy of God is going to speak for you. The mercy of God is going to exempt you. That is exactly why we came online. And we're going to continue for the whole of this week. And I'm sure glorious things will come out of this. There will be a lot of testimony. There will be a lot of testimony. In your, starting from you. You, you are watching me. Starting from you. Nobody with me online tonight. I can see about 138 people. Nobody is online with me tonight that the mercy of God will not catch with. The mercy of God will speak on your behalf. The mercy of God will speak in that nation you are because you are there. See, even in judgment, mercy will still speak. What the world is witnessing is God's judgment. No matter what anybody calls it, it is the judgment of God. It is the warning of God. Men have become reprobate. Men have become rebellious. Some people even say there is no God. Some people have taken money to be their God. There are nations they don't call God. Yet their economy is blossoming. Yet their economy is prospering. Such nations, God can easily bring them on their knees. And what is happening around the world now? In the countries of the world, no flight, no out. Flight are not going out. They are not coming in. No transit. Everything is standstill. And you are saying that in this time we should not call God? As a matter of fact, whoever says that the world does not need prayer now, the person himself is, is, is an agent of darkness. I want you to open your spirit as we begin to bombard. Now, brethren, listen to me. By the special grace of God, the ministry the Lord has committed to my hand, he has told me again and again, that my son, anytime you call me, my ears are open to answer you. And that is why it doesn't matter the distance. We can pray from United Arab Emirates. And the person who is mad in, in Zimbabwe can receive healing at the same time. It doesn't matter the distance. Somebody may be blind in Nigeria. Just as the Lord gave us a testimony some time ago, we prayed from United Arab Emirates. And the Lord opened the eyes of a blind man in Nigeria. It doesn't matter where you are. Do, are you suffering from any form of plague, sickness? Even before coronavirus came, you are, you are dying instrumentally. I'm speaking healing power of God to you now in the name of Jesus. My father is a custodian of power. All power in heaven and on earth is with him. And if you are privileged to share the same power with him, brethren, I tell you, no devil can challenge you. No devil can challenge you. There are stories of people who are meant to die. In fact, there is a story of Lazarus. Lazarus already died. But when answer came, I mean, death, death, I'm sure you know death is more terrible than COVID. COVID-19. Lazarus was dead. He was in the grave. But when the word of God came to him, in the person of Jesus Christ, just as the word of God is coming to you now, hallelujah. You see, the word of God located Lazarus in the grave that he was buried already. 
And the word of God said to Lazarus in the grave, Lazarus, come forth. Mercy located Lazarus in the grave. You are still on the land of the living. You are still, on the, you are still alive. The mercy of God must locate you. I ask my father, may his mercy begin to speak for you in the name of Jesus. Lazarus was dead. Yet the mercy of God touched Lazarus. What about you? You are still alive. The mercy of God will touch your family. The mercy of God will spare you. In, this, in the midst of plague, in the midst of disaster, it is the mercy of God we need. You see, the mercy of God chose that boy, although they came from the same womb. The mercy of God picked one person and God started relating with him right from the womb. The mercy of God started ordering his step. Although he went to the house of labor, the mercy of God preserved him. For 20 years and above, the mercy of God preserved him. And the mercy of God vindicated him. And the mercy of God set him free. Eventually, he became a nation. And that is the name Israel today. When the mercy of God speaks for you, your testimony will last for generations. Posterity is after you, we hear about your story. That you are the person that God favored. That you are the person that God had mercy upon. Just as we have cases of God's mercy in the Bible. Blind Nicodemus, I mean, blind uh, uh, Bartimaeus shouted. He pleaded for God's mercy. And you know what the mercy of God did for him? The mercy of God removed his blindness. He removed him from the region of darkness. And it brought him to the light he has never experienced before. Let the mercy of God speak for you now. In the name of Jesus, let the mercy of God speak for your family. I want you to type it and declare over your life, I am exempted by mercy. I'm exempted by mercy. The mercy of God exempt me. Malato The mercy of God exempt me. The mercy of God. Let's go to that book. Yesterday we were reading it in our church. Psalm chapter 46. Psalm chapter 46. We read it yesterday. What a very powerful scripture. We are reading it again today. That is what your, the mercy of God will do for you. When the mercy of God is in your life, it doesn't matter the shaking. It doesn't matter the running of the sea, the turbulence of the sea, the turbulence around the world. It does not matter. Hear what the Bible says in Psalm chapter 46. I'm reading from verse 1. It says, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swollens thereof, Selah. There is a river. That river is also the mercy of God. There is a river. The stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Mercy makes you to be unmovable. Always abounding. That is what the Bible says, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and verse 58 there. The mercy of God makes you like a mountain, like Mount Zion that abided forever, that can never be moved. That is what the mercy of God will do on your behalf. He says, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that rightly. The heathens rage and the kingdoms were moved. He altered his voice and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. Ah, men will see the work of God in your life. They will see the work of God and they will see the testimony of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, we are on the waves. And in the waves, there are paths of darkness and the power of light. But as I speak now, the kingdom of darkness is fidgeting because light has invaded the region of darkness. The light of God has invaded the region of darkness. And when light comes, darkness is beaten hands down. When the light of God comes, coronavirus, Basala Boko Shandala, is beating hands down. When the light of the word of God comes into your own spirit, man, every darkness 
is removed. I want you to stay tuned because something surgical in the spirit realm is going to happen to you. Do you need deliverance? Wherever you are, you'll see what is going to happen to you tonight. You have never experienced this before because Jehovah himself is here. His presence is mighty in this house. And in your own house also, the glory of God is there. The power of God is there. How I wish the nation of the world, they are, they are on with me tonight. And I will tell you where the solution is. The solution is not in human science. Okay. Assuming there is no coronavirus. But there are other plagues that has killed a lot of people. Why couldn't medicine help them? Why couldn't medicine help them? Yet they die. Listen, death is the strongest enemy of man. When death comes knocking, no man, no matter how rich that person is, he must answer the call. But I tell you, when the word of God comes, even in the face of death, it can never work. So go with me to Revelation chapter 1. Let me share another truth with you. Revelation chapter 1. See what the Bible says there. Revelation chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 17. Revelation chapter 1. I'm reading verse 17. Are you there? If you are there with me, just type Revelation 1, 17. I want, to I, want to I want to release a bomb in your spirit, man. And if you live on this, you stand on this, you eat, you will be strong. Revelation 1 from verse 17. Hear what the Bible says. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not. I am the first and the last. This is the word of Jehovah. I'm not marketing anything to you. I'm marketing life to you. I'm marketing eternal life to you. I'm saying to you, you will not go down to the grave. I'm not here to market a product that is earthly. A product that when, the, when, when, when rapture takes place, is going to become useless. It's going to be nothing. No matter the billions you have in your account, when rapture takes place, it becomes nothing of value to you. That I'm marketing eternal life to you. He says in verse 18, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and death. I have the keys of hell and death. Now listen, if this God is your father and he has the key of hell and death, don't forget coronavirus, the end of coronavirus is death. When the respiratory organ sh gets shut down, the hand is death. But this is God talking to you. He said he has the key in his hand. And if God is your father, are you sure you think your father will use that key against you? And that is why I'm encouraging you. I better come out of ignorance. You had better come out of rebellion unto God. You had better come out of disobedience in order for you to enjoy the benefit. As a matter of fact, the mercy of God will not touch someone who is rebellious. That is why the first thing, the first prayer we're going to pray tonight is we're going to tell the Lord, Father, I'm asking for your mercy over my rebellion. Please forgive me. Rebellion is why people are dying in their thousands. Because the judgment of God is raining upon the nations of the world. It doesn't matter what you say. Some people say, ah, can God be so merciless that, uh, that, that people are just dying and it has nothing to do about it. Listen, there is a time for everything. It says in that book of Ecclesiastes, there is a time to die and there is a time to live. All of these things are still fulfilling the overall injunctions of God. But listen to me, you will not be a partaker of evil. That is my priority. And that is what I'm saying. You will not be a partaker of disaster. You will not be a partaker of pestilence. You will not be a partaker of evil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
If you are not on the side of God, you have a lot to lose. But if you are on the side of God, if he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who has the key of both hell and death, he cannot use that key against you. He is your father. He loves you unconditionally. His love upon your life is calling you home. He says you've gone in rebellion for a long time. Why can't you come home? His love is beckoning on you. He says you've been like a prodigal son. Why can't you, why can't you come home? He said, I don't want you to die in your iniquity. I don't want you to die in your ignorance. The mercy of God is calling you. The mercy of God. The mercy of God. The mercy of God. The From here tonight, I'm placing a mark upon you. How wonderful this God is. At the first day, the first day of this month, March. In our ministry, the Lord just said to us, a whole week from the first to eight, we were in the presence of God. We never knew what was going to happen. That is, what, that is the wisdom of God. Hear what, what, what the Bible says. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9. Ezekiel chapter 9. Are you sure you are following me? I wanted to say a powerful amen if you are still there with me. In fact, I want to see you raise up your hand and shout hallelujah wherever you are. The mercy of my father is going to touch you. When thousands are falling at your right hand, when disaster is hitting men and women left and right, oh, your spiritual reservoir is on and the mercy of God will speak over your life. Don't let him go to the grave. But Adaba. Ezekiel chapter 9, I'm reading from verse 1. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them, cause that, cause them that have that have charge over the city to draw nigh. Even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. This verse of the Bible is scary. It says, And behold, six men came from the way of the high gate or higher gate which lie towards the north and every man is sl a, a slaughter weapon in his hand just as coronavirus is a slayer and a destroyer with the weapon of destruction in his hand and one man among them was clothed with linen and with a writer in him in horn by his side and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. Listen to this. Now verse 3 says, And the glory of God of Israel was gone up from the cherub where upon he sat and to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writers in on by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city specific instruction from the God of mercy specific instruction he said go into the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the forehead of all the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that is being done in the midst thereof and to the others he said in my hearing go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spear, neither have ye pity. Can you see that? This is God giving a mandate, a specific instruction. He said, Don't let your eyes spear. And it says in verse 6, He said, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. And women, what have you seen about the case of COVID-19? COVID Young men are dying. Old men are dying. They even say old men, old women are most vulnerable because of their age. But listen to me. If no matter your age, as many of you have seen this video, I'm saying over your life you will not go down. I came to dispel fear. I came to war against fear in your heart. 
to let you know that fear should not have a place in your life. In the name of Jesus. So he said, slay utterly, old and young, both maiden and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Which mark are we talking about? Is the mark of Christ. Just as Apostle Paul says, I bear the mark of God over me, on my body. He said, henceforth, let no man trouble me. The same mark I place upon you. This is God's mighty hand. This is the extension of God's power. I lay the same hand upon you. And I place the mark of Jehovah upon your head. In the name of Jesus, you are spared. That was the experience of Ezekiel. He said, mark them, beginning from my sanctuary. And you know you are the sanctuary of God. You are the living temple of Jehovah. You carry the God himself. You carry him in your spirit, man. Hallelujah. We are going praying shortly. But before we pray, I want to tell you the dimension of the spirit that men operate that enable them to connect with Jehovah God. In your spirit, man, you must get rid of some things in your spirit. When you get rid of those things, then your connectivity is easy. Number one. Get rid of every form of sin. Get rid of every form of bitterness. Get rid of every form of iniquity that you know. Every sin that you cover, you better uncover it by yourself. And go to this almighty God, tell him, Father, I'm sorry. I'm a sinner. I want you to forgive me. When you do that, then the mercy of God will beckon on you when you do that, then you, are, you, you, are, you have already signed a deal with God. Because now, you no longer belong to the world. You belong to his family. In our ministry, we have our, our, our declaration from Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 19. Now, therefore, we are no more strangers. We are no more foreigners. But we are fellow citizens. You can't be a citizen of heaven. An earthly plague will trap you. You heard that? You cannot be a citizen of his kingdom. Your sins are washed. You can't be a citizen of the kingdom. An earthly plague will trap you. It's not possible. Because as it were, we are reigning. We are ruling from the heavenly places. That is the realm where we operate from. So you begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. You begin to apply the blood of Jesus to your heart now. That is where I'm particular about your heart. Because see, coronavirus is coming to the spirit of a man. Tomorrow I'm going to be showing you by the grace of God how the spirit of man or the soul of man can easily be receptive to agent of darkness. There is somebody watching me. You had a dream. That you were infested with this plague. The Lord just told me now. You had a dream that you were infested. That you, that you caught this corona and you were crying. If you are that person, I want you to type. There is a person there. You had that dream. And that dream has become a trap for you. It has become a fear. It has trapped you. It is a deceit of the devil to catch you. Begin to apply the blood of Jesus upon your spirit. Begin to apply the blood of Jesus upon your soul. Wash yourself. This is the time for us to wash our inner man, not our hands, not by using marks. No, this is the time for you to begin to wash your spirit man. If your spirit man is alive, sickness cannot perch there because spirit, sicknesses are spirits. They are called the spirit of infirmities. They only have different names. I saw it from my Bible. As a matter of fact, in the book of Mark, in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 17, you will see Jesus Christ was talking about dumb spirit. He was talking about deaf spirit. There are different kinds of sicknesses, but they are all from the same family. Their family is a family of infirmity. So, but they have different names. That is their family name, infirmity. But infirmity will not come near you. In the name of Jesus. Begin to apply the blood of Jesus. Say it loud. 
don't just type it alone begin to declare my spirit is covered i wash myself with the blood of jesus i cleanse myself with the spirit of god the blood of jesus christ cleanses me from all unrighteousness from all condemnation from all evil the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses me from all contamination. You see, the blood of Jesus can, can cleanse you from contamination. The blood of Jesus Christ can free you from every form of demonic contamination. COVID-19 is a demonic pollution that the devil has released upon the human race, but we can wash ourselves. If your spirit man is cleansed, your body can never magnet COVID-19. The blood of Jesus. We release the blood of Jesus upon our spirit man. My spirit man is alive. There is no place for infirmity in my spirit man. Brethren, you are a spirit being. Make sure your spirit man is tidy first. Don't be so concerned about the physical thing. The physical things are important. But more importantly, most importantly, your spirit man, the blood of Jesus. Just as you go to the bathroom in the morning, you wash your physical body. You need the blood of Jesus to cleanse your soul also. Because many people's soul, many people's spirit has become dumping ground. The dumping ground where the devil is releasing different kind of... Can you imagine? In one person alone, I was conducting deliverance some time ago. And the devil was saying, I gave her diabetes. I gave her uh, st uh, stomach ulcer. I gave... Just one person? Because the devil is your enemy. Your arch enemy. Begin to release the blood of Jesus upon your spirit. Your spirit, let it be washed with the blood. Your soul, let it be cleansed with the blood of Jesus Christ. When your blood, your spirit is cleansed by the blood, brother, everything about your life is taking a new shape. For those of you who are here in United Arab Emirates with me, it is just a few minutes after midnight, and it is just the right time to war in the spirit. Spiritual warfare, wherever you are being from, we are here in the United Arab Emirates and we are going into the spirit realm now. It is spiritual onslaught against the power of darkness. And wherever you are being from, you can connect with us. The spirit we deal with, you can't see them with your naked eye, but we can address them and they will obey us in the name of Jesus Christ. I begin to release the blood of Jesus in the air. Yeah, begin to release the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Nations of the world, they are, clean, they are cleaning their environment. They are doing their, well, I don't know what they call it. They are, they are sanitizing their environment. Uh, they said they are, I don't know what is it. But listen, brethren. If the spirit is not cleansed, the physical is nothing. The blood of Jesus in the air. The blood of Jesus Christ in the air. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the air. The blood of Jesus Christ on the sea, in the sea, in the name of Jesus. We release the blood in the sea. That is where the evil spirit from the marine world, that is where they came from with that sickness. We release the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus combat. Let the blood of Jesus counter. Let the blood of Jesus combat. Let the blood of Jesus counter. Let the blood of Jesus combat. Let the blood of Jesus counter in the name. Brethren, as you join me to pray this prayer, it is taking effect in the spirit realm. It is taking effect in the spirit realm. You lift up your hand wherever you are. Pollute. Release the blood of Jesus in the air. It's happening like that. The devil is in trouble tonight. He's thinking. He's, he's caught on our with what I'm doing. Shutting the churches not to meet. What is happening again? Who are these troublemakers? In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. That same blood of Jesus. We release it on the streets of nations. The streets of United Arab Emirates. Starting from United Arab Emirates. The blood of Jesus on the street. The blood of Jesus Christ on the street. The blood of Jesus in all the Emirates. The blood of Jesus in all the Emirates. The blood of Jesus in the hospitals. The blood of Jesus in all homes. In all apartments. In the name of Jesus. Especially, let the blood of Jesus begin to speak for you that you are watching me. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak for your family especially. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak for the body of Christ. The body of Christ. We speak the blood of Jesus concerning them. The body of Jesus Christ. Saints. All over the places, we speak the blood of Jesus to answer for them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for them. 
Let the blood of Jesus be for them. Let the blood of Jesus be for them. Let the blood of Jesus liberate. Let the blood of Jesus deliver. Let the blood of Jesus speak mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In all the apartments, let the blood of Jesus begin to move. Just as evil spirit move in the night. Not just like evil spirit invade your dream life. I begin to declare the blood of Jesus to invade all realms in the name of Jesus. In your apartment, let the blood of Jesus enter. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus enter. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak for you. The Bible says the blood of Jesus speaks better things. The blood of Jesus does not speak COVID. The blood of Jesus does not speak go down. The blood of Jesus speaks mercy. The blood of Jesus speaks life. Let the blood of Jesus speak for you in the name of Jesus. The blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. Every one of you watching me, you are exempted by the blood. Ekela boshanda. Alkatu separadigeni arula hashande. Naatu nsonde riadigia. Wherever you are, I want you to release the blood of Jesus everywhere. Over your heart, in your family, in all your rooms, your apartment. The blood of Jesus, let it envelop everywhere. Can you see what people are doing? They take disinfectant everywhere. And sanitizer everywhere. Hey, how many of them are conscious of their soul and their spirit? But we can disinfect our spirit from every dead works. By the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus over the continent. The blood of Jesus over all the continents in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus be the power of darkness as down. Let the blood of Jesus render the devil useless. COVID-19 and the evil effect of it. We render you paralyzed in the name of Jesus. This is praying time. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of this because a lot of testimonies will come. As I'm talking to you, whosoever you are, you are sick in your body, you are receiving healing now because the heaviness of the anointing cannot come to you without doing the work of healing for you. I'm speaking in tongues over your life that your issue will be sorted out tonight in Jesus' name. Every power that has vowed that you will go down. The powers from the pit of hell. Now listen, some people tell us that why is it that you're always talking about demon, demon, demon. Now what the world is witnessing is demonic attack. <laughs> but blessed be the name of the Lord. We've always been prepared. This is a clear manifestation of demonic oppression. Not in one region now, but all over the world. They say to you, why are you always praying against the devil? Why are you always praying against uh, this? Why are you always conducting deliverance? But Jesus already delivered us. Why is it now? No. Can you see what is happening now? That is why you must be all the time vigilant. We are not done with that prayer. Now we are going to your spirit now. Because I'm aware there are evil deposits in your spirit. Why you slept, the devil came to sow some things there. Why you were sleeping, the deep devil tiptoe and he came to sow something and those things are not in conformity with your destiny. That is why you must uproot it. Begin to declare over your life every demonic seed that has been sown in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to uproot it now in the name of Jesus. In my soul, in my spirit, whatever the devil has deposited there, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let it be uprooted now by the fire of God, by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, evil deposit, sicknesses, diseases, infirmity, I uproot you in the name of Jesus. Pestilences, let the fire of God uproot. The Bible says, whatever my father, every tree that my heavenly father has not planted, it shall be uprooted. Let it be uprooted by fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has not planted COVID-19. Every tree that my father has not planted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil 
that has been planted in your soul, that has been planted in your body, that has been planted in your spirit, man, by the power of the Holy Ghost now, let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. As I'm speaking, that is exactly what is happening. Because the words of my mouth, they become arrest. It's an arrest warrant. It's an arrest warrant. I arrest the powers that is buying and selling. The demons that, is, that are buying and selling in your body. Let those demons be arrested. They are the one ministering death. They are the one ministering sicknesses. They are the one ministering rheumatism. They are the one ministering cancer. Uh, uh, heartache. Uh -huh. uh, heart failure. They are the one ministering evil. Evil. Let the word of God arrest them tonight in the name of Jesus. For you, the mercy of God is going to exempt you in the name of Jesus. Now, we are going to the session of deliverance now. I may not be with you physically, but I believe when the mercy of God touch your life, deliverance will follow. When the mercy of God touch you, deliverance is inevitable. Wherever you are, open your mouth. La Godozo Baratasalaga. I want to pump you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Because the blood of Jesus can flow where you are. I want you to open your mouth wherever you are. You can drink the blood of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you can drink the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus Christ will begin to flush, disinfect your, uh, your spirit man. It will sanitize your spirit man. It will make you fit from the inner man. If your inner man is cleansed, your physical body will be fit. Open your mouth, begin to drink the blood. Open your mouth, begin to drink the blood. Everybody begin to drink the blood. Uh, I drink the blood of Jesus. I'm infused with the blood of Jesus. I take delivery of the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus wash my soul. Let the blood of Jesus wash my spirit. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse me from every form of pollution in the natural realm, in the spirit realm. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Begin to drink the blood of Jesus. When you drink the blood, something is going to happen. Some of you, you are where you are now. In your rooms, you may begin to vomit. You may begin to fat. You may begin to uh, 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 yawn. That is the working of my Father. The Spirit of God by His blood. Let it envelope you now in the name of Jesus. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood of Jesus. I release the blood of Jesus upon you. Drink the blood. Drink the blood. Let the, when somebody is sick on the sick bed and they say they need to transfuse blood to him, the same way we can do it in the spirit realm. We can transfuse blood. We can inject you with blood. I begin to declare, who is that person? They say your blood level is low. Drink the blood of Jesus. Your blood level is going to be pumped in the name of Jesus. Drink the blood of Jesus. Drink the blood of Jesus. Call your children. Let them also partake of this. Drink the blood. Drink the blood of Jesus Christ. Drink the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. You can't see it with your naked eye, but in the spirit is speaking. La And this is the most dreadful. This is what the devil dread in the spirit realm. The devil can never confront. He can't stand with the blood. He cannot fight with the blood. I release the blood of Jesus upon you. I release the blood of Jesus Christ upon you. I release the blood of Jesus Christ upon you. I release the blood of Jesus in you. Let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to deliver you now from every captivity in the name of Jesus. Drink the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. You can drink the blood on behalf of your children. From wherever you are being from, you, you can connect your children also. Every plague, every infirmity, every sickness, every disease, in the name of, let the blood of Jesus swallow it tonight in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. Don't forget, we are still talking about the mercy of God. When the mercy of God comes your way, everything about your life will take a drastic turn. The blood of Jesus Christ is speaking for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, son of the living God. If God has taught you tonight, yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. I see that sister under the power of the Holy Ghost already. Yes, in your room, in your apartment. In the name of Jesus. The power of God, let it touch you now in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God touch you. Let the power of God disconnect you away from every form of evil. 
Only Malika, Okonto, Siberia. Aha, let the blood of Jesus disconnect you. Let the blood, you are disconnected now. Begin to disconnect your own self now. Just as the, just as the power agency, electricity agency, just as they, they can disconnect a man from power source, the same way you can be disconnected away from, you can be disconnected away from the power of darkness in the name of Jesus. I disconnect you from oppression. I disconnect you from evil dreams. I disconnect you from every form of, every form of nightmare. I disconnect you from ill luck. I disconnect you in the name of Jesus from the plague that, that is ravaging the nations of the world. I disconnect you. You become invincible. You become unseeable. You become unreachable in the name of Jesus Christ. Before we, leave, before we finish this transmission tonight, this broadcast by the grace of God, we are going to read from the book of Psalm, chapter 91. That is our spiritual medicine. So still stay on. Because as we are reading that, from that verse of the Bible, from that chapter of the Bible, healing will begin to touch people that need healing. Those who, are, who feel they are insecure, the power of God will begin to secure them. The power of God will begin to wrap his hand around them and give them assurance, even in the face of, uh, you know, in the face of uncertainty, in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are that person under the power of deliverance, you, 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 you are feeling in your body. Yeah, the power of God is surging in your body. The power, I speak against that sickness. Let that sickness live now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sickness, let sickness leave your body. I command sickness to leave. I command affliction to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every form of doubt, demonic plague, evil, demonic, demonic uh, uh, pestilence and disease. Let them leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, wherever you are now, just make sure you are in a place where you are not being distracted because the power of God cannot meet you when you are going up and down. It's not possible. You must concentrate with the word of God. You must stay tuned with the power of God. I see the power of God touching you now, touching your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let the power of God run down now in the name of Jesus like a current like electricity, like electric current in the name of Jesus and let that power flush out every weakling, every weakness in your body. A sister came to our church some, about a month ago. She came and she was telling me, Pastor, I'm always weak. I've taken antibiotics. She's a nurse by profession. She said, I don't know. I'm always weak. And she started crying. When a nurse begins to cry, she can't help herself. I said to her, get me a bottle of water. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can reach out for a bottle of water wherever you are also. You have a bottle of water in your hand. It's going to become the blood of Jesus Christ with you now. Get me water. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Aha, uh -huh. get water for yourself. Get water for yourself. I'm going to pray from here. And that water is going to become the blood of Jesus Christ. You will drink it physically. And you will see what is going to happen. Some of you, you will go into the bathroom. You're going to purge out dangerous things in your system. Because tonight, God is going to purge you. A kara dun sora miraroshi. Ibla doza kabala. Melonto sonderiaga. Get a bottle of water for yourself. A bottle of water. I'm going to pray from here now. That is the instruction he just gave me now. Somebody is sick. That person is weak. She doesn't know what to do. That person is being attacked in her dream. She does not know what to do. I came tonight with the healing power of the almighty God. I have not come for you to sow seed into my life. I have come with the message of God that you cannot buy with money. No amount of money can buy what I have. I carry the power of God and let that power of God go through the hair waves now. The water in your hands is no longer ordinary. I have my with me here. Power is entering into that bottle. It is true. Connect with me in the spirit. You are in your homes, you are in your houses, wherever you are. Get water for yourself. 
that is no longer ordinary water. I convert it to become the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Aha! I breathe the breath of life into that bottle of water in your hand. The breath of life. That water is no longer ordinary. It becomes the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. Do you agree with me that it's now the blood of Jesus? My, I tell you, distance is not a barrier. That water in your hand is, is the humanization you need, the vaccine you need. I'm telling you by the Spirit of God. Because you know, we are in the month of divine wisdom leads you to enthronement. He's going to enthrone you above COVID-19. The wisdom of God through this medium is going to enthrone you above COVID. This is water. Take it to the laboratory. It's ordinary water. But when the power of God, the resurrection power, enters into it, it's a mystery. That is the wisdom of God for you. When the power of God enters into it, it becomes the blood of Jesus Christ. How I wish I know somebody that is sick, that is attacked, that is under the demon of COVID now. And this is given and, and administered to the person. Except Jesus did not resurrect. Except his blood did not touch the ground when he died. Except the Bible that I preach is vain. Will that person not be healed? Now, wherever you are, some people are even sick in their body. They don't know they are sick. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is no longer ordinary. It is not ordinary. This is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. Do you agree with me? The Bible says, if two of you shall agree together as touching anything. Hey, if two of you shall agree together and I see more than two people online with me tonight. Do you agree with me? If you agree with me, say amen. If you agree with me, type I agree with you, man of God. And we are going to command the bottle of water in your hand. Brethren, how I wish... Somebody who is attacked with this plague, you know the person, wherever the person may be, and they will just give this person the water to drink. If the person will not rise up immediately, Jesus, the Son of God, is not real in my life. Because that is part of his wisdom. His wisdom that beats the that beats intellectual intellectualism that beats the wisdom of egypt that beat the wisdom of this world they may not be able to prove it scientifically the scientists are in the lab they are testing which vaccine are they going to introduce to tackle uh, 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 this plague but we have the solution the name of jesus christ is mighty the bible says in fact, let's go to the book of Psalm, chapter 121. Hallelujah. Psalm 121. If you are there, I want you to read. Gadeborua Shenderia Bagada. Ekriadoza. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. We are shocking the devil today. Psalm 121. There is some people I would not have been able to reach you. But for this restriction, you will know what I'm talking about is real. If you agree with me, just continue to type, I agree. And the same power of God is going to come upon you in your house, wherever you are. See what the Bible says, Psalm 121. Is somebody in the house to read for me? La koto sopaya daga. I read in the name of Jesus. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. 
he will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel, he that keepeth you, neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. COVID-19 COVID will not smite you. Not by day, not by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. Hey, do you agree with me? Do you agree with this word of God? Don't forget, it says forever. Oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Do you agree with what the word of God is saying? Begin to say amen. Man of God, I agree with you. Psalm 121, we are reading, we are now in verse 6. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. Not from some evil. All evil. It will preserve you. Are you still with your bottle of water? It is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is the mystery the devil cannot beat. How many people will be released, will be delivered tonight? How many people will be set free tonight? How many people will be released from the pandemonium of fear? How many people will receive deliverance tonight? It says, the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. That is what I'm talking about. When your soul is preserved, no death can come near you. It is because the soul of a man is not preserved by God. That is why COVID will silent him. But when your soul is preserved by him that created it, by the owner himself, he said he will preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out. The Lord shall preserve your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Say a very powerful amen. The Lord will preserve you. That is what the Bible says. Not the government of your nation will preserve you. They are helpless. They can't help you. That is why they say you should sit at home. So that if there are cases, it's not going to be overwhelming on the med medical facility. So if it is just little, little cases, they can easily undo it. That is the reason why they instruct people to sit, to sit at home. So that whatever case they have outside is going to be manageable. But there is a God that can manage all crises. There is nothing that is too overwhelming for him. He is my father. He is your father also. He can manage any crisis. And that is the God that I'm calling upon, that at this time, when you take it, that is the blood of Jesus, give your family to drink. They are not drinking ordinary water any longer. They are drinking the blood of Jesus. Are you with me? Father, I want to thank you because your resurrection power is available. Your resurrection power is moving and, 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 and moving through this medium to touch people wherever they are in the name of Jesus. If you believe what I'm teaching you tonight, you will come back with testimony. It doesn't matter what the doctors have said. You may, have, you may be suffering from kidney failure. You may be suffering from rheumatism. You may be suffering from diabetes. Maybe that is the plague that is even touching you at the moment. This is no longer ordinary. Wherever you are, I stretch the mighty hand of God and I touch that bottle of water for you. I touch it for you. Let fire enter it. At the same time, the blood of Jesus Christ. And it preserves you in the name of Jesus. You drink it. It's going to mingle and mix with your blood. It will flush out every alien in your system. It will flush out every demon hiding in your bone, in your marrow, in your tender, in your muscle, in your lungs, in your kidney, in your brain, in your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Every demon that wants to scatter your marriage. The power of God through this will move into it. And it is going to deliver you. How many of you believe what I'm saying? I want you to type, I believe man of God. You believe it, the Bible says, blessed is she that believe it. There shall be a performance. It's not me that is going to perform it. It is God, Jehovah himself. Because the Bible that we preach is the power of God. The Bible call it the gospel that we preach. The gospel is the good news of God. The gospel is not to instill fear into man. The gospel is to give you joy, to give you rest, 
to give you hope in the face of hopelessness. So, this is not ordinary. This is the blood of Jesus Christ. You drink it, I assure you, you are preserved. Now, listen to me, brethren. In our ministry, we have testimonies that beat every human understanding. And as you are watching me, I'm too sure you are going to return with your own testimony also. I'm sure of that. I just want you to make sure you share your testimony on this platform. As the Lord will touch you, as the power of God will eat you, and it will give you healing, and it will give you restoration, please come on this line to come and share. That is going to, the, our contact is being published on this, on, on this side now. You, you, you share your testimony to shame the devil. I'm not teaching human doctrine. I'm not teaching human science. I'm not teaching you what they teach in theological school. I'm teaching you the word of God that has power to save. Now let's go to Psalm 91. Now tell me, where will COVID, where, where do you think COVID will come into your life? With the combination of these dangerous scriptures? I mean the combination of these dangerous scriptures in your life. I came to boost. Now they said that for people, COVID-19, we only attack those who have low uh, immune system. So some people are saying there's a need for you to boost your immune immunity so that, uh, so that COVID-19 will not hit you. Now the word of God is the best booster. When the word of God enters your spirit, man, it gives you unusual confidence. Just as the mystery of this blood is going to read, read, is going to perform awesome testimony in your life. By this medium alone, do you know how many people will be delivered tonight? I know what I'm talking about. In your dream, you will confirm to me. In your dream, you will confirm to me. Marco Lado Shepara de Geada. E Prado Centelia de Gea Marando Solteria. We go to Psalm 91. I want you to read it. This is the booster you need. He's going to allay every form of fear. He's going to send fear packing. It will give you spiritual audacity, unusual confidence and boldness in the face of adversity. And you'll be able to raise up your head. Listen to me, brethren. If peradventure you know anyone that is suffering from COVID, how I wish in the nation I am in, I'm privileged to meet any of them by laying hands upon them. Because look at this hand. It is the extension of God's power. I'm too sure what this hand will deliver. Just laying hand on those people. And I'm challenging, I'm calling men of God around the world also. Let us rise to this occasion. This is when the gospel of Jesus Christ will become unresistible. If there is any case around you, go with the boldness of God and the God that you serve in spirit and in truth We answer. How I wish I have access to those people. How I wish I have access to them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, they will be healed. Let them take them to the lab. They will discover that no virus trace, no traits of virus in their body. Because you know what? The Bible that we've preached, it does not work with your common sense. That is, that is, that is where the world is missing it. A lot of people bring evil junks into the church and begin to live just as they are, they, as if they are still in the world. No. The word of God is what people need. Are you already in Psalm 91? Are you in Psalm 91? No sickness will survive in your body in Jesus' name. Psalm 91. We are going to read together from here. I wanted to read it to personalize it. Why your bottle of the blood of Jesus is still in your hand. We are, we are speaking dangerous things into it. The devil will never be able to beat this. I'm too sure. In the land of Egypt, the blood of Jesus was the final solution. When the Lord commanded Moses, he said, just kill a lamb. Use the blood as a, as a mark upon your house lintel. It says, when the angel of death visits, they will pass over. As many of you, you are with me online. No death sees you. 
No wickedness sees your family. You are exempted by the power of God. Hear what the Bible says in Psalm 91. How many Psalms have we read now? We read Psalm 40, 46. We read Psalm 121. We, we are reading Psalm 91 now. Now some people say to us that uh, tithe is in the Old Testament. Why do men of God go to the book of Psalm? To go and get wisdom and power. Let's continue. Psalm 91. I'm reading from here. Personalize it please. Psalm 91. I read. I that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. I shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will see of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely my God shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence of COVID-19. You see, he's already written there. He said, he will, he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust. His truth, which is his word, shall be my shield and my buckler. Are you still with me? We are reading Psalm 91. And it says in verse 5, he says, I shall not be afraid for the terror by night. Not for the arrow that fly by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. It is the word of God. And I'm standing upon the word of God with you. And in agreement, we stand upon the word of God and we declare. He said, only with our eyes, only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, which is my habitation. There shall not evil before me, neither shall any play come near my dwelling. For my God will give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in, my hand, in their hands. Lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall I trample under my feet. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. He will set me on high because I have known his name. We are calling upon him. He will answer us. He will be with us in this trouble. He will deliver us. And he will honor us. With long life will he satisfy us. And he will show us his salvation. Are you still with me? Now, as we round up tonight, still lift up that your bottle of the blood of Jesus Christ. It is a mystery. Father, I want to thank you tonight. I appreciate you for your people who have released their faith and together we are in this tonight. I thank you for the healing power of God that is flowing on the waves, that is moving on the waves, going to the nations of the world. Especially for those people who are with me online tonight, I want to thank you because the mystery and the divine wisdom that we are trading at this time, even when the government of the world says they've not been able to dis discover to, to discover the, the, the vaccine to combat COVID-19, we have the mystery that will beat the devil hands down anytime. This is no longer ordinary. It becomes the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you drink it, you drink life. As you drink it, you drink mercy. You drink it, you drink exemption, exemption, exemption from evil. You drink it, you drink abundance. You, as you drink it, no sickness is permitted in your body. As we've been praying now, if there is anybody there, as we drink now, you receive instant testimony. Let me hear your testimony. By the power of God. This is no longer ordinary. And for everyone you believe in what we have just done tonight, thank God it is your water. I didn't buy it for you, but there is something that I have that you also have, but you don't know you can connect with it. And that is the power of Jesus. For every believer, and every one of you, you are with me online. I want you to drink it. It is no longer ordinary. This is your spiritual immune booster. It boosts your immune against every deadly disease i know what i'm talking about that is the blood of jesus christ and that is what is delivering unto you in the mighty name of jesus thank you father we give you all the glory blessed be your name O god what a mighty god we serve 
you are too faithful to fail. From generation to generation, you have been God. We lift up your hand tonight. We drink life. We refuse to die. We refuse to be trapped. You said we shall be justified by the word of our mouth and we shall be condemned by the word of our mouth. Father, we declare we have life in us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, son of the living God. We give you all the glory. Every believer, you have the freedom to drink in the name of Jesus. And as you drink, I know overnight you will have a testimony because the Lord will show you your victory in the night. There are some of you, the doctors of heaven will walk upon you overnight. There are some of you, that evil connection that you have is going to be broken away and you're going to be permanently disconnected from evil. And there are some of you, when you go to the loo, what you're going to pass out of your system is going to shock you. And it's going to be an indication to you that you're already delivered, that you're already encountered. If there is anybody you need the fruit of the womb, my father is giving it unto you. If there is anybody, your job, I'm praying for your job tonight. Your job is preserved in the name of Jesus. Your job will be preserved. And the Lord will open glorious doors unto you in the name of Jesus. Because this plague, the Lord said to me, is over. In the spirit realm, we conquered already. But whatever you see is like a serpent whose head is already gotten off. But you see, physically, the, the serpent may be moving and, and moving, but the head is already off. Coronavirus, we've removed your head. Supernaturally and by the power of God. That is a victory we have. Every believer and everyone that you have been with me online, it is well with you. God bless you. Hallelujah. For all the sons and daughters of GKC, and as many of you, this is a time for you to engage your daily devotional. It is important. You can't afford to be in the dark. You can't afford to give the devil any room to operate. It is well with you. Make sure you occupy yourself with the word of God at all times. And you know what? No devil comes near you in the name of Jesus. That same blood of Jesus, you can sprinkle it in your house. You can sprinkle it just as I'm going to do in my own apartment now. I will splash it everywhere. That is our covering. It's one of the kingdom mysteries. The devil cannot understand it. And he cannot beat it. So you sprinkle it everywhere. Sprinkle it on your children in the house. Sprinkle it on your, on, on, in all your apartments. And drink it. Until I come your way tomorrow. United Arab Emirates time. 11 p.m. For this hour of midnight prayer, which the Lord is saying, exemption by mercy. Exempted by mercy. That is going to be tomorrow night. Make sure you are with us in the name of Jesus. But tomorrow afternoon, by 3 p.m. in the afternoon, 3 p.m. United Arab time, I'm going to continue that teaching we started today. Make sure you join me. Make sure you join me. So, between now and 3 p.m., when I'm going to come your way again, I want you to be unusually bold and confident that you have been exempted by the mercy of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.